Welcome to Grade 8 Tutorial Class, Quarter 1, Module 1. And this is Teacher Francisco, your math facilitator for the school year 2021-2022. This video will help you factor polynomials completely using different techniques. In all lessons, you are given the opportunity to use your prior knowledge and skills in multiplying and dividing polynomials. To continue our topic on factoring polynomials, we will proceed to the next factoring technique which is perfect square trinomial. Perfect square trinomial is the resulting product of squaring a binomial. Recall that in special product, when we square a binomial, its product is a perfect square trinomial. That is, quantity x plus y squared that is equal to x squared plus 2y plus y squared. Or, quantity x minus y squared that is equivalent to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. In factoring x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, the factors are quantity x plus y squared and x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Its factors are quantity x minus y squared. This suggests that in factoring perfect square trinomials, the result is the square of a binomial. The first term is the square root of the first term of the trinomial and the second term is the square root of the third term of the trinomial. It is important to check if the given trinomial is really a perfect square trinomial. For example, determine whether each trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. A, y squared plus 8y plus 16 and letter B, 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. To tell if y squared plus 8y plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial, we will examine each term. Is the first term a perfect square? Yes, because y squared is equal to y times y. Is the last term a perfect square? The answer is also Yes, because 16 is equal to 4 times 4. Is the middle term twice the product of the square root of y squared and 16? The answer is yes, because 2 times y times 4 is equivalent to a y. Therefore, y squared plus 8y plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial. What about letter B? Is 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared a perfect square trinomial? Let's check. 4x squared is a perfect square. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. 9y squared is also a perfect square. And the square root of 9y squared is 3 y twice the product of 2x and 3y is 2 times 2x times 3y and the product is 12xy but the middle term of the given trinomial is negative 6xy therefore 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared is not perfect square trinomial. You have now an idea on how to determine whether the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not. But if the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial, we can now get its factors. But how? First, get the square roots of the first and last terms. Second, use the sign of the middle term of the trinomial between these roots. Then third, raise the binomial obtained in step 2 to the second power. For example, factor x squared plus 14x plus 49. First, 
check if the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Since the middle term 14x is twice the product of the square roots of the first term which is x and the third term which is 7 and the first and last terms are perfect squares then the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. So, to get the factors of x squared plus 14x plus 49, we will use the square roots of the first and the last terms. And we will also use the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial. And lastly, raise the binomial to the second power. Next example, factor the following perfect square trinomial. Number 1 x squared plus 18x plus 81 number 2 1 minus 12x plus 36x squared number 3 49x squared minus 56xy plus 16y squared and number 4 64 minus 48xy plus 9x squared y squared we will not check anymore if the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not because they are all perfect square trinomials and we will get only its factors number one x squared plus 18x plus 81 first we will get the square roots of the first term and the third terms the square root of x squared is x and the square root of the last term which is 81 is 9 then copy the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial and raise the binomial to the second power. Number 2. 1 minus 12x plus 36x squared. Get the square root of the first term which is 1. The answer is 1. And get also the square root of the third term which is 36x squared. And the answer is 6x. Then copy the sign of the middle term and raise the binomial to the second power. Number 3. 49x squared minus 56xy plus 16y squared. First, get the square root of the first and the third terms. The square root of 49x squared is 7x and the square root of 16y squared is 4y then copy the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial and raise the binomial to the second power number 4 64 minus 48xy plus 9x squared y squared square root of 64 is 8 and the square root of 9x squared y squared is 3xy then copy the sign of the middle term of the given trinomial which is negative and don't forget to raise the binomial to the second power last example factor 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 before applying any factoring technique apply always first the GCMF or the greatest common monomial factor. Since the first and the last terms are not perfect squares, we cannot apply perfect square trinomial. And if you have noticed that each term in a given polynomial has common factor which is 3, then we will apply GCMF. Copy the given polynomial, write first the GCF. To find the other factor, we will divide each term by the GCF, that is 3x squared divided by 3, quotient is x squared, negative 12x divided by 3, the quotient is negative 4x, and lastly, 12 divided by 3, the quotient is 4. Try to check our second factor if it is still factorable. What do you think? Is it a perfect square trinomial? Yes, because the middle term which is 4x is twice the product of the square roots of x squared and 4. 
that is 2 times x times 2 is equal to 4x. So we will apply PST or perfect square trinomial. To continue, bring down 3, then get the square root of x squared and that is x. And get also the square root of 4 and the answer is 2. Copy the sign of the middle term which is negative. And lastly, don't forget to raise the binomial to the second power. That ends our discussion on perfect square trinomial. The last technique of factoring polynomials is factoring quadratic trinomials. In this lesson, you will be able to factor completely trinomials. What is quadratic trinomial? It is a second degree polynomial with three terms. This is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are non-zero integral coefficients. The discussion will be divided into two parts. Case number one, a quadratic trinomial where a is equal to one. And case number two, a quadratic trinomial where a is not equal to 1. Quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1. These are the examples of quadratic trinomials where a is equal to 1. Note that x squared minus 4x minus 12 is the product of quantity x plus 2 and x minus 6. Since multiplication is the reverse process of factoring, the factors of x squared minus 4x minus 12 are quantity x plus 2 and x minus 6. The factored form of quadratic trinomial is a product of binomials of the form quantity x plus blank and x plus Blank. Let's have more examples. Factor the following quadratic trinomials. Number 1. x squared plus 6x plus a. Number 2. a squared minus 5a minus 24. And number 3. m squared plus 2m minus 24. They are all quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1 since the numerical coefficients of the leading terms are 1 and the highest exponent is 2. To get the factors of these quadratic trinomials, we will follow these steps. First, find two factors of C whose sum equals to the coefficient B. Then second, using the form quantity x plus blank and x plus blank, Fill this in with the two factors found in step 1. In number 1, x squared plus 6x plus a, take note the factored form of quadratic trinomial is the product of two binomials. Before we will find the factor of the last term which is 8, we will distribute first the first term which is x squared to the two parentheses because x times x equals x squared. How to fill in these two vacant terms? Find the factors of 8 whose sum is 6, which is our middle term. List down the possible factors of 8. Then, try to add the pair factors of 8. Therefore, factors of 8 whose sum is 6 are 2 and 4 and we will use this factor to fill in the vacant terms. Thus, the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 9 are quantity x plus 2 and x plus 4. Our second example, a squared minus 5a minus 24 is different from previous example because we have minus signs of our middle term and last term. The same process, first distribute a squared to the parenthesis, then 
look for the factors of negative 24 whose sum is negative 5. Since the last term is negative, our factors should be 1 positive and 1 negative. Here are the possible factors of negative 24. Then add each pair of factors and we will use the factors of negative 24 whose sum is negative 5 and write them on the vacant terms inside the parentheses. When we add two numbers having different signs, we will subtract according to the rules of integers. Then copy the sign of the bigger number. For example, negative 1 plus 24 subtract 24 minus 1 equals 23 and the sign of the bigger number is positive which is 24 that's why we have positive 23 therefore the factors of negative 24 whose sum is negative 5 are negative 8 and positive 3 we will write them inside the parentheses to complete the factors. Thus, the factors of a squared minus 5a minus 24 are quantity a minus 8 and a plus 3. For problem number 3, m squared plus 2m minus 24, the factors are quantity m plus 6 and m minus 4 because 6 times negative 4 the product is negative 24 which is our last term and positive 6 plus negative 4 the sum is positive 2 which is our middle term that ends our discussion on factoring polynomials